इनफाइनाइट सीरीज इंट्रोडक्शन देर आर सम प्रैक्टिकल सिचुएशन वेर इन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन और द इवेल्यूएशन ऑफ इंटीग्रल्स इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट और इम्पॉसिबल एग्जाम्पल इंटीग्रेशन ई रेज टू माइनस एक्स स्क्वेयर डी एक्स कैन नॉट बी ऑप्टेन बाई डायरेक्ट मेथड ना यह आई हैव ऑल्सो मैंशन वेर इन प्रैक्टिकल सिचुएशन वी हैव टू ऑप्टेन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सोल्यूशन ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन नाउ यू हैव स्टडीड सम ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विच आर इन सम स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म एंड हाउ टू ऑप्टेन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दोज डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन नाउ वेन यू गो फॉर प्रैक्टिकल एप्लीकेशन मोस्ट ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स और प्रॉब्लम्स गेट मॉडल टू अर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विच मे और मे नॉट बी इन अ सम स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म इन दैट केस वी ऑप्टेन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दीज डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन एन इनफाइनाइट सीरीज फॉर्म नाउ यू आर फेमिलियर विद सम ऑफ दोज इनफाइनाइट सीरीज इन योर अर्ली स्टडीज लाइक एक्सपांशन ऑफ साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स ई रेज टू एक्स एक्सेट्रा all these represent infinite series now why is the study of infinite series important for physical application we need the concept of convergence or divergence for practical application we make use of convergent series or everything is meaningless before you go for the actual definition of series we shall simply recollect what you have already studied earlier regarding sequence what is a sequence a sequence is a succession of numbers or terms formed according to some definite rule the nth term in a sequence is denoted by un so now what is a series series is nothing but sum of a sequence an expression of the form u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus and so on un in which every term is followed by another according to some definite law is called a series now the standard form one of the standard forms you have studied is the geometric series which is given as a plus ar plus ar square plus and so on What is the first term of this geometric series? We write it as u one equal to a. Second term is u two, which is equal to a r. Third term is u three, which is equal to a r square, and so on. Now, how do you check whether the given series is divergent, convergent, or oscillatory? Now, we consider a series, infinite series, u one plus u two plus u three, and so on. in order to check whether the given series or nature of the series we consider partial sums what are partial sum we denote them as s1 s1 is the first term s2 is the sum of the first two terms s u1 and u2 s3 is the sum of first three terms u1 plus u2 plus u3 Sn will be the sum of the first n terms u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus and so on un. Now, using this partial sum, how do you check whether the given series or series is convergent, divergent, or oscillatory? Or, in other words, what is the nature of the infinite series? We say a series is convergent if the partial sum has a finite limit. That is, limit of Sn. that is sum of the first n terms as n tends to infinity is equal to k which is a finite value we take this example 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus and so on s1 is the first term 1 s2 is the sum of first two terms 1 plus 1 by 2 you can calculate and check it it will be 1.5 S three is equal to one plus one by two plus one by four, so you can calculate it as one point seven five, and work out the other sums also. You'll find as you go further, 
as n tends to infinity you will find the values are slowly approaching the value 2 it doesn't go beyond 2 so we say this infinite series is tending to the finite value 2 so this infinite series is convergent when do you say a series is divergent we say it is divergent if the limit of the partial sum tends to infinity that is limit of Sn as n tends to infinity tends to infinity we can simply take an example I have not mentioned it here if you take an example you can note it down 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus and so on S1 is equal to 1 S2 is equal to 1 plus 2 which is 3 S3 is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is equal to 6 and as you continue for n tends to infinity you will find the limit of the n terms sum of the n terms will be tending to infinity so the series 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on is a divergent series now the third one is the oscillatory to check whether the given infinite series is os oscillatory we take the limit of sn as n tends to infinity and if you find the limit is oscillating between two or more terms then we say the infinite series is oscillatory example 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and so on s1 is 1 s2 is 1 minus 1 equal to 0 s3 is 1 minus 1 plus 1 equal to 1 and you'll find the limit of the partial sum will be oscillating between 0 and 1 so this given series is oscillatory next we come to what is positive term series and what are its properties an infinite series well the, where all the terms are positive represent a positive term series now also you have what is known as alternate term series alternate term series will be the terms where, where the terms are alternatingly plus and minus here we are considering only positive term series for our studies so what are the properties of positive term series now if the nature of the series is convergent or divergent or a positive term series which is convergent or divergent will converge or diverge even after rearranging the terms that is if you have a positive term series which is already convergent if you rearrange the terms you will find the series will be converging the nature will not change the second property is the nature of the series will remain the same even after multiplying it by a scalar lambda and the third property is the nature of the series will remain the same even after adding or subtracting the terms thank you